In this example, we're going to take another look at closing entries and the posting of closing entries. So you'll see in front of you that you have the four steps to the closing entry process, which we use the acronym READ, R-E-I-D, close revenue, close expenses, close income summary, close drawing. And what we have to do is kind of work a little bit backwards and fill in the T account balances below and then post the closing entries. So the first thing one we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at our patient service revenues and our laboratory fees. So if we debited each of these accounts for these amounts, that means their beginning balance must have had a credit for that amount in them. So I'm going to go to my patient services revenue. And my patient services revenue has a normal credit balance. So my beginning balance would be right here for the amount of 3400 Okay, then I had my laboratory fees revenue in the amount of 1800 So my beginning balance would have been a credit in the amount of 1800 Then um, I had all my expense accounts, which since I'm crediting them here in the closing entries, it means rent had a debit 1400 wages had a debit 1100 and other expenses had a debit 500 for their beginning balances. So we're going to find rent expense for 1400 had a beginning balance of 1400 Wages expense had a beginning balance, and our other expenses had a beginning balance of 1100 and 500 and 500 Okay, so then I go up here and I look at my capital account. Let's see. The fact that I credited my capital account there for $2,200 doesn't mean that was the balance of my capital account. That's just the amount I put in there after steps one and two. If you scroll up here just a little bit, it says that beginning capital had a balance of $1,300. So here's my balance, $1,300 in my capital account. Then in the next step, I credited drawing for $1,800. So that means my drawing had a beginning balance of $1,800. I said 1800 sorry, 800 So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I journalized my closing entries and now I'm going to post them. So step one, debit our revenue accounts. So I'm going to go down to my revenue accounts. Okay, so closing entries done are in the last period, the last day of the accounting period. So I debit this for 3400 and now you can see where it has a zero balance. And this transaction, or this, I'm sorry, example goes with the previous examples where we closed them individually. All right, then I closed laboratory fees on the last day of the accounting period in the amount of 1800 1800 debit plus an 1800 credit gives us a zero balance. Then in step two, I closed my expense accounts. Rent expense has a debit balance of 1400 so on the last day of the accounting period, I'll credit at $1,400 and now it's zero. Same thing with wages expense for the $1,100. Debit of $1,100, credit of $1,100 equals zero. And then the same for our other expenses. Okay, so that takes care of steps two and three. Except now I need to put those amounts into the income summary. So in step one, where I debited my revenue accounts, I need to put that total amount here in my income summary account, which was 5,200. Sorry, credit. Step two was a total of all of my expenses, which was 3,000. So analyzing the income summary account, this 5,200 represents my net income, this 3000 represents my expenses. So you can see that the difference between the two is 2200 And in step three, we close our income summary account for the difference of 2200 which brings that back to a zero balance. And we now put that 2200 into our capital account. And it's increasing our capital account because it is a net income. Now, had Step three been a net loss, we would have had to debit our capital account. So then step four, close our drawing account. So I credit for 800 and it now has a zero balance. And I debit or decrease my capital account 
for the 800 amount. So what happens at this point then, I need to balance my capital account. So for my capital account, I had 1300 was my beginning balance in there. And I'm going to add my 2200 and then subtract my 800. So there's no place for footing in here. We simply take the 1300 plus the 2200 um, minus the 800 and we get $2,700. So what we have done is we've taken, we journalized the transactions and then we posted them to the T accounts. My capital now has 2700 in it and all my temporary accounts should be closed. Drawing, income summary, all of my revenues and expenses now have zero balance. So the only accounts that would be left after closing entry would be my permanent accounts which would be all of my assets, my liabilities, and my capital account.